Today I'll be going over the scariest Christmas monsters from various urban legends. <coughs> now, <coughs> let's get this started. The scariest Christmas monsters from folklore, even uh, sorry, every country has different customs during the Christmas season. Some of these customs have their roots in Asian pagan beliefs. Christmas monsters are used by parents to trap children to keep children in mind. If they don't behave themselves, they won't get any Christmas gifts, and a terrifying monster will kill, come and kidnap them. Spooky. So here's various Christmas monsters from urban legends. Krampus. Krampus is the evil demon, the anti-Santa, or maybe he's the evil twin, who is used as a tool to encourage good behavior in children. Krampus night is celebrated December 5th, the eve of St. Nicholas Day in Austria and other parts of Europe. Public celebrations that night have many Krampuses walking the streets looking for people to beat. Krampus may look like a devil or like a wild alpine beast. So that was Krampus. That was one of the urban legends. Krampus there. <coughs> um. Have you some drink? <laughs> Oops, spilled some. That was a fail. <laughs> um, so this overall, this picture of Krampus is pretty spooky. I mean, um, oh shizzle. Hold on. Uh, let me get the picture up. I almost forgot what the capture. Wait, what the capture is appearing. Oh, oh shizzle. I forgot about this. Whoops. <laughs> almost forgot <coughs> that uh made this up so whoops so yeah um let me just this So yeah, overall, um, so we're going over Christmas Monsters, uh, so this is a picture for Christmas Monsters that we're going over, there's Urban Legends, just to show you the top of the page here, I'm moving over, this is overall, this is Krampus, this is pretty spooky AF, nanny the hell, you have Krampus attacking a kid for being bad, and this is an old artwork with a red background, overall pretty spooky, it's literally nightmare for you all these for children that is that's oh that's oh oh that's spooky oh well, it's it's mostly a spooky picture and it's messed up. Let's see next. <laughs> I don't know how to say this, I'm probably gonna butcher this name here. So excuse me if I do. Jala Co Turin. Jalakaturin is an Icelandic mule cat or Christmas cat. He's not a nice cat. In fact, he might eat you. Oh! That guy must be hungry if you know what I'm saying. Uh, um, this character is tied to an Icelandic tradition in which these two, in which those who finished all their work on time received new clothes for Christmas while those who were lazy did not. Although this is mainly this is mainly a threat to encourage children to work hard. Parents have told the the tale of the Yule Cat, saying that jo Jola Kalturin, still probably can't pronounce it, could tell who the lazy children were because they were, did not have at least one new item of clothing for Christmas, and these children will be sacrificed to a Yule Cat. Oh, we got some ritual spooky ritual stuff going on. Oh, there, <laughs> that's actually pretty spooky and um. Damn. Uh, I would not want to be around that giant evil cat. Icelandic folklore. Ooh. Uh, uh, if I were you, I'd, uh. <clears throat> you know. Not be lazy. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, next urban legend. Uh, Christmas folklore is I'm gonna butcher this probably Fra Percha Percha Fra Percha 
fry perch stuff. Oh, I'm part German, if you didn't know, so damn. Uh, so some German folklore, so I didn't know. Um, and overall, yeah, this is, I didn't go with this picture. Hold on, this picture. This is a giant spooky cat, red eyes. I don't know how he, he got a shine gun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. Um. So, Fra perched the tales told in Germany and Austria sometimes feature a witch named Fra perched who hands out both rewards and punishments during the twelfth days of Christmas, December twenty fifth through Epiphany on January sixth. She is best known for her gruesome punishment of the sinful. She will rip out your internal organs and replace them with garbage. Whoa! Now that's a real punishment, and that's actually spooky. Uh, the ugly image of Perch that may show up Christmas processions to Austria is someone like Krampus. So that was Fra Perch, the, the German in Austria uh, Christmas of legend to scare people, I guess, which is <laughs> very spooky. And, uh,. This image here is, I guess, it's interesting. It's not really that scary. It's more like, uh, just like, oh, just like, uh, with, uh, it's made to be monsterish looking. And, uh, <clears throat> wow. That is a real punishment, though. And, uh, I wouldn't want to be caught around this, uh, for, around Fire Punch. And, uh, it's a nice draw right now. And then, okay. I heard about this one a little bit, so I'm going to still go over it. Hans Trap. Hans Trap is another anti sandy who hands out punishments to bad children in Al Alsace, Alsace and the Lorraine regions of France. I believe that. My bad. <laughs> the legend of, says that Hans Trap was a real man, a rich and greedy, an evil man who worships Satan. And that, and was excommunicated from the Catholic Church. He was exiled to the forest where he preyed upon children. Whoa. Disguised as a scarecrow, a straw jutting out from his clothing, he was about to eat one boy he captured when he was struck by lightning and killed. A punishment from it of his own god. Still, he visits young children before Christmas dressed as a scarecrow to scare them so good behavior. So that was Hans Trap. And this is actually pretty spooky. Um, again, uh, another Christmas folklore monster who attacks children. Wow. Damn. Um, Hans Trap. Okay, this picture isn't really spooky, but it's just looks like a sketchy old guy being here and be like, Hey, hey, you! Hey, guy, uh... <laughs> Candy canes? <laughs> ah, but, yeah, uh, that was cheesy. But, let's go on to... A couple more here. So, next, I don't know, this one doesn't... This one, uh, is just called... Black Peter. I don't think this has anything to read. That's actually it's nightmare fuel and terrifyingly and seeking terrifying. I was scared of hell. I mean, I saw this as a kid. Um, uh, okay, it does have a whole story thing here for it. I'm gonna read over it since it was on the main page. Um, Black Peter or Zwart Piet is a demonic dwarf from folklore of Belgium and of the Netherlands. He appears each Christmas as the evil helper of Santa Claus, or Santa Claus, to punish children for bad behavior. So again, punishing children for bad behavior, damn. Um, still spooky. Let's see, uh... Let's go over some of this. So... It says... <coughs> Every Christmas, Black Peter is forced to accompany Santa, who as he goes from house to house, distributing his presents while Santa roars the good children. Black Peter takes delight in punishing the bad ones. Children who misbehave did not, do not uh, receive any presents from Santa. Black Peter will leave a bundle of twigs or a lump of coal in their Christmas stocking by a warning. So that's some more coal and, uh, wow. 
uh, twigs, the more but old twigs, interesting, um, and then this is going to get pretty dark here, if this is going to be really bad, or I'm not, he is white, black, he will snatch them from the pit and throw them to a sack, oh, that's kidnapping, and that's illegal, uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, but that's spooky, which is full of hungry rats, he kidnaps the boys and girls and takes them to his coal mine where he chains them up and makes them slaves, Whoa, okay, this got super dark, and, uh, <laughs> this ain't no horror movie. <laughs> this would make a really good horror movie, but, damn, so that's, like, that's literally nightmare fuel. I would not want to be caught around this Christmas of legend. The poor children are forced to take cold forever while Black Peter amuses himself by poking them with sharp pins. If they ever grow too sick or tired of work, Black Peter will eat them. Whoa! Okay, damn. Um, that's the most insane punch I've ever heard from a evil Christmas monster from a legend, uh, Black Peter, and, uh, Honestly, this is the spookiest one on this list so far. And this, look at, this, look at those eyes. That's literally nightmare fuel. Oh. Okay, next one is Jolo Pokey, which I butchered it properly, my bad. So, that's actually spooky as well. This, the women's not right, is like terrifying. And this is. It's literally more nightmare fuel, but not as scary as this one here. Holy shizzle. So this is a Finn, uh, urban le uh, Christmas monster urban legend from Finland folklore. Okay, let's go over this. In Finland, they have Jolo Buki, who is some of the crampiest. He has horns and hooves like some kind of money goat, and he loves to beat naughty children with a tree branch until their backsides are bleeding. Holy shit, okay. Still, that's not as worse as this Christmas monster here from, our, from folklore, but wow, that's an insane punishment. That's messed up. <laughs> oh, what am I going to about this Christmas monster to you, let me tell you? <laughs> he comes to your house and asks, are there any good children here? He doesn't bother giving out presents as daddy has to give him presents to avoid a beating. This is actually pretty spooky and messed up and... And then a traumatic. Holy hell. Ooh, Santa Claus would not be happy with that. Or. <laughs> that helps as well, but. Um, okay, here. The uh, next one is Yule Eyes. There's no image for this one. Um. The Jules in there, or the Yule Lads of the 13. Icelandic trolls who each have a name and distinct personality. In ancient times, they stole things that caused them trouble around Christmas time, so they used to scare children into behaving. Like the old cat, however, the 20th century boy, tales of a benevolent Norwegian figure, Julian, Ju, Julian, the sea. Ah, that might have been butchered, my bad. Okay, Santa Claus, <laughs> uh, who brought gifts to good children, traditions become mingled until the former devilish Joel Joseph and Air became kind enough to leave gifts and shoes that children leave out. They are good boys and girls. So that's, that was the, this is the Urban Legends of Yule Lads, they're basically 13 Icelandic trolls, I guess, this Icelandic folklore. Um, they scared children to behaving again. And, um, <clears throat> they, they are definitely not as harsh as Jolo Pookie and the Black Beater, which, that's Nightmare Fuel, no, which is, get that, throw it in the fire, trash, throw it in the trash, <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> and this one's also Nightmare Fuel, or more so than Pick on the Right, and, this one's traumatic, and this one's super traumatic, especially if you're young. Uh, the last Christmas monster we're gonna be go over, overing, uh, go going over on us. Overing, overing, overing is a word. <laughs> oh, nanny. <laughs> uh, ring is definitely not a word. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, okay, so this one's called uh, Gryla. That is literally nightmare fuel. Holy shizzle, dude. Wow, just like the other two. This one's one of the other, uh, top, the third, 
the top three scariest ones on this list here. Rick Christmas Monsters from Folklore. All the, so this one relates to you last last one we go over the 13 Icelandic Trolls, which reminds me of the Seven Dwarfs from Snow White, except the horror version. <laughs> Let's go over this. So, <clears throat> all the you lads is the great great of their mother. She pre pre predates. That's a word. <laughs> the you lads in Icelandic legend as the ogres who kidnaps, cooks, and eats children who don't obey their parents. Super spooky. Damn. She only becomes associated with Christmas in the 17th century. When she was assassinated to be the mother of the Yule Lads, according to legend, Gryla has three different husbands and 72 children. Holy shizzle, Batman. Sasuke. Oh, Sasuke the hell? <laughs> Not even the hell, like, Moyo? Like, what What the hell? Like, she had three different husbands she had 72 children. That's insane. Literally, imagine having sent you children. How how would you how would you feed all of them? How would you give them all drinks and, and clothes and, and that must cost a lot of money. <laughs> Over the sales continue though. That's insane. No, there wouldn't be even enough room for all the sent you children in the house. <laughs> Whoa! And wow! Just that's literally insane. That that would be like chaotic. <clears throat> All who cause trouble ranging from harmless mischief to murder. So that was the urban, uh, the last urban legend from the Christmas folk on the, this list. Gryla. Honestly, this picture is pretty spooky. That looks like, um, the Yule Lad. And that looks like, I think that's Gryla in the background opening the door here. It's, it's a nicely drawn picture, but it's pretty nightmare fuel. Oh, shit, spooky. Um, it's really nightmare fuelish, and uh, well, rest in peace, the poor uh, kid here. Um, damn. So the spookiest ones on this. This is some comments about them here. Chisel. Spookiest ones on this list are Gryla from the Christmas folklore slash urban legend are Gryla. Um, Jewel Little Pokey, Pokey, which I probably got that wrong, and the Black Peter, that's literally Nightmare Fuel, like, just use Fire Ninjutsu on this shizzle, you're good to go. <laughs> Snap, got, um, got him, uh, just kidding, <laughs> Yeah, those are the spookiest ones on the list, and also Krampus is pretty spooky too, but Krampus, Black Peter, Jolapuki, and uh Gryla are the spookiest uh are the spookiest uh you know <coughs> uh Christmas monsters from folklore on this list. So that was different. Uh, uh, that was different. Uh, spooky uh, urban legend monsters from Christmas folklore on this list. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I like enjoy spooky stuff. Um, I mainly did this for around holidays, Christmas, even Christmas time, and like winter time. But this could be for any time in general. Hope you. Um, hope you enjoy. This spooky video. And, uh, yeah, Ari Gato. Woo!